How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with another review. Very sexy review. Hmm. How you doing, Damolin? Um, a beer I had no idea about in any form or fashion, to the point where I actually didn't know what the title said. So I did look this one up, I cheated a little bit, just to get a little bit of information on it, to know what kind of beer it is. Um, just because I wanted to pronounce at least the fucking title of the beer. And this is uh, De Molen's uh, Goss and Goss and Vandals. Now, it actually has on here. It's a Belgian dark Asian bourbon barrels. Ale Asian bourbon barrels. There says it on there, so we already know what's going on. But it's Belgian dark, um, as far as the internet says, um, which is interesting because I don't think of Belgians when I think of De Molen. I think of stouts. Um, or porters, or usually those kind of beers. But there are a couple different breweries on here, label-wise. There's a, you know, it says Product Netherlands, it has Narke, I believe, and, and then another brewery, I believe, down here in the other corner. I don't know if they're a collaboration with, or I'm assuming they're breweries. They could be other things, but I believe the, somebody else besides the Bolin had a hand in this beer. So, just absolutely uber excited to give this whirl. This beer comes courtesy of David out west in the northwest actually up in Oregon. Thank you very much David. He sends me bonkers crazy beers all the time so this is a... I'm just going to type in. As far as what it says on the label, pretty much read it all already. Um, it is, what does it say here? A little scratchy. 10% or so alcohol by volume Goss and Vandals. Ale Asian Bourbon Barrels. Um, it says Christina DJ Scorvenum. I don't know if that's an artist. Um, in the back here, we have Shelton Brothers import label that they slap on all these imports, and that's pretty much it. Um, label wise, that's fucking a label. That's a fucking label. Right there. That shit is cash money. The art style, everything about it, it's like. The, the, the label's almost like miscut. It seems like it was like cut by hand. Um, I mean, you're giving me like kind of a Renaissance painting with a pentagram on its head. I don't know if really I'm gravitating towards that. But in general, this label just does it for me. I love it. I dig it. It's fucking fantastic. Let's open this sucker and uh, see what she has to offer. The Mullen beers can explode every now and then. So I'm kind of, every time I open them, I'm Either two things happen. Either they explode or nothing fucking happens at all in any form or fashion. I've had them blow out of the bottle before to the point where it's like, holy shit. I'm going to pour this one really rough because it looks like it is going to struggle to get ahead on her. Um, you know, it, 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 it's the mold. It's You know, when you're dealing with those European motherfuckers, sometimes their beers come along, out a little bit sideways. So, um, rough pour produced a quarter of a pinky finger of a kind of malted malt ball color head that has dissipated super quickly and color wise I mean you're talking about a Belgian strong dark or a Belgian dark that is right in the cash money quad range that I want beers to be in I want my quads to look exactly like this super murky dirty diarrhea water in color and uh, yeah we're off to a good start so Besides the head, a little bit more head. Let's see if we can get a nose on this sucker. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We're in my fucking world now. You know, I love me beer, man. I love me some fucking beer. And I love me a lot of different kinds of beer. You know, I, I'm get, I get all on the new fucking I'm New England IPAs. Love them. Love them. I'll, I'll admit that shit. You know what I mean? Give me a juicy, crazy, treehouse, trillium, whatever the fuck you want to call it, fucking turbid fucking double IPA that is, drinks like fruit juice instead of beer, and I'm all on that shit. You know, give me, you know, a really nice, well-done American kind of funky beer with your kind of, not only even go sour, just kind of wild ales, and I dig them. I love them. They're absolutely delicious. And, you know, give me an English Old Ale, too. I mean, you know, me and my Thomas Hardys, we go back. Um, JW Lee's love that shit. The Belgians. The Belgians are my first love. And you know your first love. And this is that perfect, perfect 
musty, funky, plummy, datey, figgy, all the descriptors you want me to throw out there, wrapped in a really nice, semi-sweet bourbon with just a touch of barrel char. Nose lice. Yeah, that little bit of sweet smokiness just smells absolutely fantastic. I could huff that for fucking days. This is how I, you know, this is what, this is what gets my butthole tingling and tight and things and stuff gets hard and stuff. Um, yeah, this is, uh, David knows me. Let's put it that way. He knows what I like. So, yeah, I'm going to sit here and stop gushing over the nose. I'm just going to dive in and see if it tastes as good as, see if the juice is worth the squeeze on this fucker. Cheers. I don't even want to talk, honestly. I just want to sit here and make faces. This is fucking delicious. See, this is the shit. This is the shit. This is the shit. I'm going to go on a tirade. Okay, this beer's awesome. You know what? I'll give you the whole fucking spiel. You know, it's just... It, it's, it's, imagine, you know, the caramelized top of, like, a, pe a pecan pie. Like, if they do, like, a pecan pie top on, like, a brownie kind of thing and they caramelize the shit out of it... Think about that, but more like date and figgy with raisins and stuff, and then drizzle a little bourbon on it, fucking light it up with a torch, but make it beer. So, now that we have that over, I'll go on a little tirade here, because the beer is just fantastic, it's absolutely fucking awesome. This is the shit I just don't get. Like, again, it, it, the barrel aged is not for everybody. So, I'm kind of encompassing, like, Belgians. In this kind of, um, you know, Belgians and old English ales and things like that. Is that, that, that malt and yeast kind of fucking driven beer that just it gets no fucking play or no fucking, you know, no fucking whatever from people. I just don't get it, man. I get it. Because people like what they like. People love piles of garlic and food. And hops of garlic. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, much more, just more to it than just garlic. But you get what I'm going at. Um... And so, like, when you get something like this, like, I feel like, I, I almost feel like I'm taking crazy pills, like, the fucking, I'm a got to on this, uh, and it, to the point where, like, I feel like I could take this beer to certain parties of people that are in the beer, and give this to them, and they would be like, okay, that's all right, and they'd be like, let's move on to something else, and I would be like, are you fucking crazy, like, you need to fucking understand you need to understand what's going on. Now, is that me living in my own brain? Is that me just being that fucking wrapped in my own fucking, like, cycle? Do I have blinders on? I don't fucking know. But what I do know is that at least one mother motherfucker halfway across the country, or all the way across the country, almost halfway across the globe, sent me this because he knew I'd fucking love it because he thinks it's bonkers, and the motherfucker's right. So, yeah. Um, this is the shit that just absolutely fucking lights me up. I actually think, I would guess this has time on it. Um, not super amount of time, but a, a year or two, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Like I said, I looked it up just to see what the name was. But I actually don't know if it's like, has like epic time on it. Um, but I feel like it has just enough time on it to give that little musty funkiness, that little oxidation that really turns me on. That bourbon barrel in there with that little bit of smoky char is just absolutely fucking beautiful. It is perfectly done. On top of, of a Belgian that is so precisely... I'm going to keep saying perfect. And I shouldn't say that because there's no such thing as a perfect beer. But so well done and marries everything across the board from a brewery that I've never had a Belgian 
before. It just screams of just head shaking awesomeness. Let's put it that way. Mm. Yeah. Let's put it this way. If you watch a bunch of my reviews, this tastes like a JW Lee's had a baby with one of the better Belgian strong darks. Or more specifically quad, because I thought it was in a more, more quaddy range. One of the better quads in the world. If you take a West Vidalin, West Belgian, whatever you want to call it, 8. Or even a Saint Bernard, an older St. Bernard's 12 and, and mix it with Cuvée that shit with a Jedi of these couple year old uh, uh, beer and barrel age that for brandy barrel age or bourbon barrel age. Sorry. Um, that's what we have here. And that does not fucking suck. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better... I don't even know what to call it. Is it one of the better blanket? Let's go simple as humanly possible. Is it one of the better barrel-aged beers I've had as of late? Yes. Not in, in, in the... If not number one, as close to number one as you possibly get. Because... While there's been some huge, awesome, crazy barrel-aged beers that I've loved, some of them can weigh a little bit heavy on you. And I could drink three, four of these in succession and not feel weighed down whatsoever. That's, but it's so rich and decadent. That's, that's the cool part about it. Value and availability. Availability, no fucking idea. Never saw it before. I'm closer to fucking DeMullen than fucking David is, but he gets it. Jerk. Um, how much did he pay for it? Ten American dollars, because he did this cool thing where he wrote the fucking cost on the bottle, which I fucking really appreciate. Uh, Ten dollars. <laughs> Take all my money. Um, it could be, I mean, it could be any price, but it could be. Let's say if this is fifteen dollars, I'd have no problem buying it. It's ten dollars. Ten fucking dollars. Um, and just say, if you like what, we like this. If you like good beer, if you like awesome beer, if you like amazing beer, if you like... Like I said, if you like English barley wine, old ales, JWEs more specifically, and you like Trappist quads, age Trappist quads, and you like barrel aged beers, and you like nuance, you like gentleness, and you like roundedness, and you wish all of them had a fucking baby, you like this beer. Because it's straight fucking cash. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Totally didn't, because you can't. And uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap. Massive beers in all those places. Yeah, I'm done. There you go. Another review down. So hopefully you can find this. Hopefully you like the review, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.